Hey everybody, this is George, and welcome back to Woolcraft. As you can see in this episode, we have our sound down to 26%. Last time I was up at 100%, and that was a huge mistake when it comes to recording a Let's Play because the sound settings of the game uh, outweighed my voice pretty heavily. And I think what we need to do now before nighttime comes again is make some trees. There we go. Let's chop them down. We can finally get somewhere. Last, the first episode, we kind of just ran around like monkeys trying to survive. It was a lot of fun, but not very productive. I think the first thing we need to do in this episode is make some torches um, uh, and a pickaxe and a bed. So I guess there's a lot of first things we need to do. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, I think a bed would be the most important step. Let's throw this guy down right here. All right. No. There we go. Now we can survive. It won't be a, a, a die fest like last episode. Okay. I do need some food. I guess that'll have to come in a minute. Replant. Oh, uh, we all, let's get some. Let's see, what do we need? Another chest, obviously. I think this middle one is a trap chest, so yeah, we can place it. Throw everything in there, except the shears. Actually, we have shears. Okay, and now we can finally function without worrying about uh, losing all of our items. All right, good. And another tree. Whoops. Now I think last episode we made our way down to stone and we made our way through all of the wool through the sand and through the dirt, but in this episode we need to collect some stone and then I guess we can get some coal and iron going. We do need to make iron armor this episode as well, but down in the caves it's kind of rough and there are still mobs there so this will be interesting. Okay, here we go. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. Um, there we go. Time for some fun. Here we go. I'll probably die. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing because I'll take one hit. And who goes here? Nobody this way. I hear some bats, which means it's dark enough in here for mobs to spawn. Oh, yep, of course. That's going to happen. I'm hoping at this point in your video watching, the sound sounds a lot better than the last episode. Basically, uh, it was my first Let's Play episode and I knew something like that would go wrong. But I didn't want to... <laughs> I didn't want to make a new one because I worked... I mean, it was a 30 minute long video of me dying on Woolcraft and I don't want to go through that again. So... Um, if you haven't yet downloaded Woolcraft, I highly recommend doing it. Maybe make a let's play for yourself, or just play it like normal for yourself. As you can see here, we've gotten some stone, and there's also some clay there. I'm going to get a shovel before I get the clay, just because it would be a lot easier that way. But now I think we have enough stone. Actually, we need to get some coal. That's, that's our priority. But as you can see, pretty much every resource you need is available on this map right now. You got your your coal underneath the clay, you've got your iron there. So it won't be too bad to farm them. The hard part is starting off, uh, getting diamonds will be a very hard part. Getting to the nether will be hard. Uh, getting gold will be hard. There's a lot of challenges in this map that 
you know, will be kind of difficult. Here we go. But at least we've got some torches now. We can make this underground area safe. And we can finally see... And now you can see how colorful it is. <laughs> it's very nice. I know a lot of Let's Players don't play on 100% brightness, so I should change that now. Oh, and it's nighttime. How lovely. Let's... Okay. I want to sleep. Okay, of course. That's how the game works, I guess. <laughs> yep. Is it going to be another die fest, or...? Let's go underground. Oh, we can probably make a bed and put it underground. Yep, good idea. That's my middle name. There we go. Perfect. And here we go. Yes, we do have the materials. Yeah, I'm going to turn the brightness down. Um, let's see. Let's go down to 70. Okay. And now we are just like the professionals. Uh, not really. <laughs> I don't have any wool. Which is very weird because I am on Woolcraft. Let's see. Shears. Okay. So what do you guys think? Have you taking a good look at the Woolcraft map. Do you think it looks good? Uh, would you play it yourself? Or would you only like to watch it as a series? Or do you think it doesn't really make a, a very good series? I guess it's too early to judge whether it makes a good series or not. You kind of have to give it a go. And we will see. Um, it might just be that I'm not a very good Let's Player yet. <laughs> Uh, that might be the reason it might not be a good series to you, but personally I think this has pretty good potential for a series. I can only sleep at night. Huh. Okay. Well, is it going super fast or something? Because or... I thought it just turned nighttime. And I'm going to die. Okay. Oh. Look at this. There we go. He did. Oh, I'm dead. Again. It's to be expected. Hey, I guess sleeping worked. Well, that's weird. Alright, let's see what kind of mobs are up here now. I'm sure there are tons of spiders and maybe some creepers. Yep. But they're not aggro, so that's good. We can get back to tree chopping. And... Oh, I don't have any stone. <laughs> That's a noob move right there. I do need stone. I got it. Yes. Okay. Okay, what should we make? Let's make some pickaxe. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. That's a fun dude right there. Let's go gather some stuff. Hopefully we can get some iron. I think you need like 24 iron to make full armor. So we got we should Aim for 24 iron. Uh, actually, a little bit more than that if we want to get some tools and stuff. But I think the first priority is to get armor. As you can see, there's some redstone right underneath the iron. That won't come in handy for a little bit uh, until we can get ourselves established and start building things. For now, it's all about gathering and having a really good fast startup. 
And I just realized all the coal collecting will be good experience. So if we can ever get an enchanting table, that'll be good. Now you might be asking, if you saw my intro video, um, you saw that there's obsidian here underneath the redstone before you can get to the diamond. And you might be asking, hey, George, how do you get diamond? And the answer is villagers. If you saw in the chest above or stuff I was carrying around, um, the villager eggs, there are two of them. You have to make yourself a villager's farm. Uh, I do need more stone. But you make yourself a villager farm and then you trade until you can get a diamond pickaxe and that is possible it might be a little bit of a tedious process to trade with the villagers but it'll be fun making an infinite villager breeder and as you know uh, i love making big machines like that mob grinders and villager breeders and there are plenty of designs out there that we can copy so don't worry about that we will here, I might as well make a another one of these. All right, one of these. Okay. Three. You only need twenty-four divided by eight is three coal, so you only need three coal to take care of this iron, but. So, all right, do some more mining here. And like I said in the first episode, these first couple episodes might not be uh, as interesting as you'd like them to be or as I'd like them to be because they won't be all about uh, building and making contraptions and stuff. They'll be all about surviving and getting started. But they are vital to the experience of Woolcraft. So that's why I'm leaving them in. I think I'll pause the video and then gather some stuff and then I'll be right back with you. Does that sound good? All right. All right, my homies. Let's take a look at what I've done. Um, well, I made the staircase bigger just so I'm not always hitting my head when I'm running up and down. Makes it a lot smoother. I cleared out some stuff down there and then pillared back up with this wool. Now, <laughs> after I left you guys last time, I came back and I started recording again for a good 18 to 20 minutes. <laughs> and then after I finished, I was like, woo, I am done recording this Let's Play episode. And uh, lo and behold, the software I'm using, which is open broadcaster software, by the way, uh, it's a free freeware thing and it's still in beta. So I guess that's why I had the issue. But basically the MP4 file got corrupted. And I find out later that uh, I should be recording uh, to .flv instead of mp4 just because it's less likely to be corrupted and so that's fun <laughs> I'm, I'm re-recording it um, while I was recording last I um, on the file it got corrupted I made this little farm here because um, I think that well I know the dirt will look a lot better if it's in the ground in the wool uh, one sec about that. Welcome back. Um, as I said in the first Let's Play of Woolcraft, I ha I'm living with a family of six other people, and so there are a lot of interruptions, a lot of people yelling at me. Luckily, I have this microphone from from Blue. It's called the Blue Nessie, and it uh, removes a lot of background noises. So you probably didn't even hear them. They're yelling up the stairs at me. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is I'm in my closet, which is very small. I'm using these shelves uh, instead of for holding clothes and stuff. I'm using them for speakers, computers, microphone setup, um, my mouse. It's basically everything. Uh, the only thing it's not holding is the power strip and a subwoofer which I have underneath my setup. I'm using a, a really tall stool to sit on. So, yep, lots of fun. Uh, another thing, of course, this closet wasn't meant for people to be in it or for computers to be in it, so it doesn't have a vent, and it is very hot in here at all times, especially during the summer, and it's summer right now. Uh, 
So that's that's fun. But like I was saying before, I got so rudely interrupted. I am making I made this tree farm. Uh, it's just a more efficient use of the dirt, and it looks a lot better. Uh, if you have the, well, I guess I won't be needing. Yeah, I'm not worried about these saplings as a problem, just because on oak they are pretty common. But I did lose. Looks like I have this kind of tree, but I don't have the the birch tree or the jungle tree, so I will never have those again unless I find them in a chest in a dungeon or something, uh, which I'm not sure if that's possible. So, oh well. <laughs> that's part of the challenge of Woolcraft, you'll find. If you don't get farming these items and lose them um, by getting blown up by a creeper or whatever, then you are in trouble and you can never use them again. Let's see, what am I doing now? I think now what I need to do is I need food desperately. Right now I just have this apple. So I think what I'm going to do is start on, uh, yeah, I'll use this dirt. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm going to start on an animal farm. It's going to be very, very nice. Okay, so we want the, once the grass spreads over here, that'll be the start of our animal farm. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see. That's 11. Actually, I want, don't want 11. I want that. Because, let's see. Spawning pad will be. Yeah, I'm trying to think this through in my brain. I didn't have a plan coming in. I think, yeah, spawning pad will be here. So it'll be dirt, 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 dirt. These nine will be dirt. Um, and then I will have water here uh, going through the middle and along the sides. And then I'll have a second 9x9 nine nine here, and then a third and a fourth one here. And then the animals will fall down in the water streams. That'll be an episode when I complete that. Right now I'm just kind of trying to think through it. Let's sleep or we will die. There we go. I think we saved ourselves there. Whew, good thing I made beds. Yeah, these first few episodes are kind of stressful. Of course, here's a zombie. Let's get his experience. Might as well. You die. Oh, okay. We die. Nope. Oh, come on. Oh. I should probably do some lighting up around the surface, but I'm still trying to get things established here. Um... Yeah, one thing I need to definitely do is make stairs there. I need to do some repairing here. The animal farm will be over in this area. Might as well mark it off a little bit. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I sound like a cheerleader. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, okay. I might as well discuss the technical specs of my my recording setup. I'm using Open Broadcaster software, as I already told you. Uh, basically, it's freeware. It's not Fraps because I don't want to pay for anything, and I don't want to pirate Fraps either, like some people do. Um, yeah, that's that's illegal, and Fraps is a good company, so I'm not going to pirate them. But I also don't want to pay. I want to use a a free thing for now. Um, I might eventually use Fraps if I ever make money from doing this but yep that's sometime in the future not now um, also I'm using a an Asus laptop that I bought to go to college with and it is about one year old at this point let's see what am I doing okay let's cover up this whole let's put some light in it let's light up this and then cover it up but yeah basically Asus laptop, um, it's got a uh, Intel 
processor. I forgot which one. It's not not the best ever, of course. The laptop cost me 400 bucks, so it's not anything special. It's not a good computer um, as far as like a custom-made desktop computer that cost a million billion dollars, uh, like a lot of the famous YouTubers probably have at this point. But what it is, it's a uh, it's it's solid and it, it was made recently so it's not like it's gonna die on me anytime soon and it records pretty well I'm not recording in HD of course just because that would lag a lot uh, you could some of my recent videos were recorded in HD and as you saw it skipped a lot of frames and it just wasn't very good news uh, right now yeah I prefer not HD I think it even though it's worse technically it's worse quality it's better quality as far as the video frames go and the amount of lag. So we're good there. Uh, it'll turn out good, I think. In the end, nobody cares if it's full HD. I mean, nobody's watching this on their television or anything, so. Although if you are, then props to you. But yeah, I, ha I highly doubt anybody's watching this on their TV and really cares whether it's HD. They might be, they might comment and say, hey, I care whether it's HD, but really they don't. They're just being jerks. Um, as long as you can see everything just fine, as long as it's reasonable quality, uh, I'm sure everybody will be will be happy with it. Uh, we almost have these holes filled up. I think next episode I'll probably have something planned. This episode is kind of about me getting established, getting some iron. I have full iron armor, by the way. An iron sword, iron pick. So I'm happy with my progress in this episode so far even though I did uh, have a little problem earlier. I'm not sure how far I am into the recording, so uh, hopefully we're not going over time or anything. I remember the, the first episode, of course I remember because I watched it, but the first episode of Woolcraft, I told you guys that I'm not sure if I can make it to half an hour, but actually it was easy, believe it or not, to make it to half an hour. You just have to make up things to say. I know this isn't the most interesting video as I talked about earlier but it is half an hour long and that was my goal um, as a first time let's player technically I'm now a second time let's player even though this is still my first series ah the beauty of Woolcraft see all these colors yep that's how the world's gonna look it's gonna have colors galore with uh, the things I build it's gonna be awesome, and that's that's pretty much why I like Woolcraft. The potential for the builds are gonna be epic. The challenge level is so high at this point. Um, let's see how the grass is spreading. Pretty good. Let's get some light up in here, up in this hizzy, as the kids say these days. All right, and now I think we're we passed the 20 minute mark. At least we might be getting close to the 30 minute mark. Um, I think we got a lot accomplished this episode. We established a tree farm. We got some torches going. We expanded the the uh, that little cave we made there. We've lit it up. We've got beds. We've collected some wood and saplings, and we're we've got our animal farm a little bit planned out for the future. And we got some iron armor going. So this was a good episode, good productive episode. I uh, highly recommend you download yourself some Woolcraft and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Woolcraft or if you want if you have ideas for other Let's Plays I I will take suggestions and I'll take them seriously and I'll consider doing them um, but until then I'll see you next episode goodbye